everybody. It's Emily. I wanted to do a very quick video on how I do my face uh, when I'm in a big rush and the kids are screaming at me and crying and I've got to get somewhere real quick. Um, plus, I don't know how um, much video I have left on my phone or space I have left on my phone. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. Um, I started my routine with my Illuminate um, facial cleanser, washed my face and got it all ready for everything. And then I uh, used my refreshed rose water as a toner. And I think I used like three spritzes of that. Um, bonus is it smells really good. Um, and then I did the Glorious Primer off camera. Um, because I like to let mine set for about 30 seconds to a minute uh, before I start applying any makeup. So, I'm going to, I normally use my BB cream, but today I wanted to test something new and uh, see how well my pressed powder worked um, by itself without anything underneath it. But I normally use the Bisque BB cream, um, but because I'm doing this very quickly, I wanted to just try the pressed powder for the first time. Uh, so here we go. Get my brush all loaded up and start applying it. And it looks like it's covering pretty well. Now the splotchiness is coming through. Unevenness. Uh, but that's the awesome thing about our Glorious Primer. Um, it gives you a perfect, um, even skin tone, an even base to work with, to begin working with, which is awesome. Can you tell a difference? I can see a difference. My lighting is horrible in my bathroom. So, I don't do many videos, but um, that's all gonna quit. That's gonna end. I can't let things hold me back. I want to get this product out in front of everybody and show how awesome it is. And I love it because it's naturally based, uh, free of harsh chemicals, and it's not tested on animals, and that's huge to me. I love that. And I love that I know what's in these products. There's no surprising ingredients. Uh, I can trust putting this on Emma's skin and not have an issue with it. Okay, so I've got my powder on. And I think it did really well. Okay, I do mine differently. It seems like almost every single time I've been playing around with all this stuff to figure out what I like best, but um, now I'm using the concealer in Foxy to contour a little bit, just so I don't look sickly. <laughs> or just to give me some color but I just put it around the perimeter of my forehead so it doesn't look so big and I'm doing this really crazy because I'm trying to hurry because I do have somewhere to be and I want to get back home before the storms roll in
I'm just using our concealer brush. Want my nose to look so wide, so I'm contouring the side of it. I hope that this is coming in well. Who knows? We'll see. Don't shoot me. This is the first time I've done a full face video. I always feel like I need more. Anyway, there we go. I'm going to put on my blush in sweet. I feel like it's not showing up too well in this video, but maybe once I get it uploaded it'll surprise me. Okay. I'm gonna lightly go back over everything with my powder brush just so there's no harsh lines then I like to highlight a few areas on my face with the fresh concealer it's the uh, lightest concealer that we have. Just take my finger and go down the bridge of my nose a little bit. And I'll buff that out. And then a little bit up here. And then I take my clean, a, a different uh, blusher brush. and put some right here to kind of highlight those areas. You probably can't see any of that because I have this glare from my two sconces that are on either side of my mirror. Put some right there. Just a little bit of a highlight. not going to do any eyeshadow. This is supposed to be an easy video. Um, I kind of get crazy and usually use three or four different 
eyeshadow colors when I'm getting ready. So uh, when I'm in a hurry, I just skip that complete entire step. But I will do a little bit of filling in with my eyebrows with our um, prim eye pencil. This probably looks crazy.